economy centers around its auto plant. It's the weekend in Warren, Michigan, where the local high school is holding its homecoming parade. But the band and beauty queens can't keep this man's mind off the bleak economy. I'm skipping from week to week to eat. So you can't live one. John Payne says life in this blue-collar town isn't easy. Reminders of the ailing automotive industry are everywhere. Where are these people going? That's a sad place. I'm really close to the town. Where are you? If they leave this neighborhood, where are they going? Payne was a General Motors man back in the 1960s. He left as layoffs were looming. He's in the neighborhood laying people off windows. I knew I was next to the line. Now, with reports that GM and privately owned Chrysler were talking about a possible merger, Payne says that could create an exodus. Uh, I imagine if they go get into a, some kind of a dispute, they'll start laying people off. That's the only way that I can figure. And then when that happens, where the else are you going to go? There was no other industry to go to. A weak economy, slumping sales, and high gas prices are all putting the brakes on the American automotive industry. And now, with the possible consolidation of two of the big three, workers are wondering if that move will help Motor City roll forward. I see it as a positive move. Hiram Henry is a Chrysler worker with 13 years of experience under his belt. It's like a baby. The baby falls, but the baby gets up and continues to walk. And you keep on going forward and forward and forward. This country has been through hell and back, and we're still here. Here, but hurting, according to a longtime General Motors employee. It doesn't seem like this yesterday. Cars were cheap, the economy was good, and this is like an overnight thing. So all we can do with this pray. Just like in hard times past, pain knows life will go on. We're in better. That's what you're going to do. That's, you got to really enjoy life somewhere. If not in Warren, where else could he go? Brooke Baldwin, CNN.